Okay, now we're going to use the Super Nintendo emulator. And for this one, you want to plug in your classic remote. So go ahead and plug that in. And you can navigate the menu with the classic remote. If you want to pick something, all you got to do is press A. So we're going to scroll through here and see what we got here. Once again, using the classic remote. So now we're going to play a little Metroid, I guess. It's like a Metroid hack. Let's check this out. Okay, and if to pick a game, you just press A, and the game should boot and load right up. As you can see, here we go. Some gameplay. And the buttons are mapped exactly to the Super Nintendo as it was. And if you hit the home button, it'll bring up a menu. And from here, you can do the same thing. Click on save and go to new snapshot. Okay, here, if you click on new SRAM, what that does is it creates a save on the cartridge so you can save on the cartridge because if you don't create a sram and you save the game from the cartridge and you start it over your save data will not be there so if you want to save from the cartridge make a sram other than that you go to new snapshot click on it with a once again and it brings you there and then you just press b to back out and if you want to pick up from your save state you just go to load and you click on the snapshot, not the SRAM, the snapshot, and it'll pick up right where you left off. And you hit the home button again, and go scroll down to main menu, and press A, and go over to OK. No, wait. Go over to OK, and it brings you back to the main menu. And from here, you can pick another game, or if you hit the home button again, it'll exit and take you back to the Wii menu. And that's pretty much it.